Welcome to Techno Tips Learning and I'm today I'm here with a new video how to use templates while sending an email. So I got a comment on my last video which was new outlook setup and let us see the comment. So thank you very much. It is really helpful. I would really appreciate if you could show me how to share templates in Outlook as it appears that Microsoft has removed that function in the new version, right? So this was uh, a question asked and I have replied it. However, I thought it would be good if I create a video around it. So that is, it, is, it would be a simple video and showing how we can use a template so first of all like i'm not prepared for this video i i'm just creating it so what are templates so templates help you in standard in standardizing your email uh, suppose you send repeated emails of some kind and every time you do not have to write it down again like every time you do not want to compose the same email right the same lines um, so it is better you create a template and using that template you can send an email so how do you do that so this is the new outlook in my last video we discussed about new outlook how to configure new outlook and uh, based on a comment i'm creating this video so let us see how do we create templates so it is not very tough uh, you click on new mail here and it will open a new mail window right so now you see the options in the ribbon are more and you can use uh, we will go ahead and use this and suppose uh, take a scenario where you as soon as you highlight the body you, you see all these things highlighted for formatting and everything so when you are writing an email and you want to use it again and again so what you have to do is in this ribbon you will see this apps icon right if you uh, i'll en enlarge it so this is the apps icon and if you down and um, click on this arrow toggle to classic ribbon it will come up in it would be visually large and it says apps here so you can either use the classic ribbon or simplified rib ribbon uh, then you need to identify this icon and if you use classic ribbon it will say apps you click on apps so this is my templates so you can click on uh, my templates and it gives you a window for templates so i have this uh, template created let us delete it and uh, name this template i write this every time okay so it is just a sample uh, that i'm creating so hi dear friends maybe you can write this is my general template uh, i'm creating it like uh, an example you can uh, go you can add it as per your convenience as per your email requirement this is my general template i use it every time so you created it maybe i give a space save okay now when you click on this template i write this so you, you got this generated so it is added to the email body and if you send it will send so that is the use that is how you use templates in outlook microsoft new outlook okay and this these are built in templates so lunch do you want to meet for lunch and i'm running late hey i'll reply later so whatever you want to add here you just have to go to apps and okay so let us start 
creating a new email let us go to home and discard it okay so let us see if it works if we compose a new email so we go to new and this window opens you click on apps and go to templates and I write this every time template you select and uh, we will discuss in later videos how do you create signatures for a different purpose so the signature tab is here maybe most of you know but as I have to complete the series on Outlook, so I'll go ahead and do the signature part as well, the template part as well, and how to, do you attach files or uh, how do you sh schedule uh, an email to send. So these all things we will uh, talk about. The best way to test the email is you put your own email address. Technotips learning at outlook.com so if you are sending an email from <clears throat> your email to your email it will test the outgoing and incoming both so this is the best way to test if your emails are going out or coming in so you set it and So it went out and it came back in. So outgoing and coming both are working fine. And this is the template we created. I hope this video was helpful to you. And as in comments, I got this. So yeah, the video is ready. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and do comment so that I can come up with the new ideas and come up with the new troubleshooting steps and solve your problems. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.